everyone, Nicola here. The charts that you see here are the charts that I dows on. The question that I get sometimes is how do the charts look, what's in them, and how do I identify what's causing the problem in your health and life? So this video will give you an idea of the charts I use and how I can find out what the problem is affecting your health and life, whether it's a physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual problem. If you have seen my previous videos, you will know that I use pendulum dowsing and sacred geometry tools along with these charts and true quantum healing. And you can check out these videos in the links below. So if you're wondering how a session starts, I will ask you what problems you would like me to work on, a brief history, and if there are any other problems going on in your life. And this helps to create a focus for your session. So let's get started on showing you the charts. If you have had a session with me before, you would have heard me asking throughout the session what question is optimal for your body. In true quantum healing, if you ask the right question, you get the right answer. And it's a very important part of the process. In the question chart here, there's a list of 26 different possible questions. And it helps to send me in the right direction and finding out where the problem is within your body and what's causing it. So my pendulum could swing to... What are you suffering from? What area is in crisis? Or where is the most congestion to what do we need to do for your body? So if my pendulum swings to the what to do charts, I simply go to this chart, the what to do chart, and I douse on what I need to do for you. So it could be that a specific area of your body needs to be grounded. It could be that there's an emotional problem that we need to clear, or we could need to work on your chakras. So back to the question chart. And if my pendulum swings to one of these questions, for example, where's the most congestion in your body? Then I go to what we call the master chart. And the master chart here, it has every physical area and energetic area of your body listed. So then I douse to find out where the most congestion is within your body. So the problem could be in any of these physical areas, depending on what your problem is. Um, for example, your nervous system, reproductive system, or it could be in an energetic area like your aura or your chakras. So if you're wondering how I identify where the problem is within one of these particular areas of your body, well, each area has its own chart listed also. So if my pendulum swings to the nervous system on the master chart, then I simply go to the nervous system chart and I douse to find out where the problem is within your nervous system. For example, if you suffer from anxiety, then my pendulum would swing more than likely to the sympathetic area of your nervous system. And then I just clear the problem out from there. So as you can see, every physical area of the body is listed here and further broken down. So if the respiratory system, for example, digestive system, lymph and immune system, any problems within hair, skin and nails, to reproductive system. So the male reproductive system and the female reproductive system here. So within the energy area of your body, we have the aura and chakra charts. In True Quantum Healing, we work within about 70 different possible areas within your aura. And you can see some of the examples here. So again, my pendulum will pinpoint me to the area to be worked on. So it could be within your consciousness, your higher self, your source. Some people refer to the soul. We refer to it as the source. It could be within your astral body um, or your dharma, which is your soul purpose or source purpose. So going to the chakra charts, a lot of energy practitioners work with seven chakras in our charts here. As you can see, there's 14 different chakras and then there's also seven different layers within each chakra. And this allows me to douse for problems deep or hidden within your chakras. So we also have the zero chakra here and this is your root chakra and it's one foot below your feet. And it's, an, a, very, it's a very important chakra as it's the grounding chakra. So I just showed you briefly the areas within your physical and energetic body where the problem could be. And after I douse to pinpoint where the problem is within your body, then I go to what we call the problem or the stressor charts. So this lists the different possibilities of what could be causing the problem within your body. Again, 
I dows to find which chart to go to. There's over 20 different charts here and each chart is further broken down with hundreds of possibilities. And it could be either a physical problem or an energetic problem. So once I dows to find out what the problem is, then I use certain commands along with sacred geometry tools to remove the problem. In true quantum healing, it's all about intent. As humans, our intent is very powerful. And the words true and false are two of the most important words in true quantum healing. By intending a problem to be false, it removes the frequency of that problem. And by saying a particular area true, it raises the vibration of the area. So to show you some examples of the types of problems in the charts, as you can see, it is a very in-depth list. So for example, it could be leaky gut. Um, this is where there's holes and leaks in the digestive tracts and fecal matter can leak out into different areas of the body and causing different problems. So just moving on, could be a problem with parallel incarnation, mold, um, candida, food coloring, um, different curses within the body, can be generational curse. And then moving on to, for example, prolapse. So it could be bladder problems like leaking when you sneeze or when you cough. And we just clear the different problems from the bladder and the bladder outlet and then strengthen the muscles. So moving on here, for example, if uh, my pendulum swings to dolomite, um, example, there's a buildup of dolomite and could be a contributing factor to migraines along with an energy component like a curse or a spell. So negative energies are also a big component in the problem within people's lives. Um, there are many different entities within my charts here and universal law says once they are identified and asked to leave then they have to leave and that's just the way it is. So example of some entities are jinn, archons, reptilians, moloch. So I'll go into more detail on these negative energies in another video. So as you can see here, it's very in-depth and just moving on here. Um, two different problems like the first dimension and second dimension here. So these dimensions are very low negative energy dimensions and you don't want any part of your body to be connected to either of these dimensions. Anyone feeling disconnected, depressed, suicidal, low, um, or just have a physical problem that just won't go away, they're more than likely connected to one of these dimensions. So it's just a matter of disconnecting the area of the body from these dimensions and shifting it into the seventh dimension of love, which is the highest dimension we can work on right now. So other problems that we work on that could come up are viruses. So there's loads of different viruses listed here um, bacteria problems and then parasitic problems also as well so in true quantum healing basically anything can be worked on i've worked on people houses animals land so true quantum healing is very effective on everything and anything you can think of so just to go over some other charts here and um, the problems chart here is another way to give me some insight as to what the problem may be within your body. So it could be a hormonal problem, could be a joint problem, a parasite problem, could be a virus problem. And it could also be an energetic problem like a curse or a soul or source problem. So we also have healing energies that we can use when directed. For example liquid silver we can use it for infections to help clear up the area um, stem cells we can use this healing energy to repair a particular area example for a torn uh, for example torn ligament and then moving on here to the minerals chart so there could be an excess or a deficiency of a mineral in a certain area of your body for example if there's an excess of iron in a client's uterus then this can be a problem um, during conception and during pregnancy. And for example, calcium can be another contributing factor to headaches and migraines. So we can also work within the DNA to some degree. Um, emotions, we can also work on if you are feeling a negative emotion like abandoned, 
fear of the future, feel self-pity, then I douse to find on where you are holding that energy of that problem within your body and I intend to remove it. So sometimes you might also need a positive emotion like courage, um, peace of mind, feeling respected and in this case it's just a matter of intending that emotion to be true in the particular area of your body. So now that you have an idea of how the charts work and how I douse to find out where the problem is within your body and its possible root cause, if you have any questions about the charts or want to discuss what could be affecting your health and life, then please contact me at nicolakb.com and I will reach out to you. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon. Thank you.